guys. Ooh, look at you. Checking yeah, off projects. There's a, there's a pile. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, We're getting yeah. them through. Yeah, make sure everything's, uh, everything's good. You know, right. everything's good. You know, make sure people aren't sucking, you know. That's right. That's right. All right. Thanks a lot, John, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, as part of our... May I sit in your chair? Yeah, go for it. Okay, Let me, great. Uh, let me pause this for you. Yeah, so would you? Awesome. You so, um... How's it going, Zach? Good. So, you're, you're on camera now. You, you've got to imagine 3,000 people are going to see this. So, you're, you're new here, right? You're on your trial period. So, that's right. Oh, they didn't training, tell you that? Trial, training. Yeah. Right. Okay, great. All right, fantastic. So uh, the fans the fans want to know a little bit about you. Okay. Well. Let's talk about art, art and hobby is the topic. Oh, okay. Okay, great. I was going to say that I'm <laughs> single, like, long walks on the beach, but as far as art goes... Okay, come, was... come on, Zach. So, what's your question again? Say. Um, the question is, what is your art and hobby background? Okay. For yeah. what it is that we do here. So basically, I've never. I'm not. I've only played the game once, and it was like yes, last week. Okay. And it was here, so I have never painted the miniatures or played. But I just love to do. Just like general, anything artistic, like every day I do, uh -huh. I try and do something uh, artistic, no matter what it is, like sewing, I don't know, like knitting. I'm sorry, did you say sewing and knitting? Uh, yeah. All right, great. Well, the ladies are going to love that. Okay, so uh, talk to me about uh, what other mediums you're familiar with. So, Me mediums that involve uh, like brushwork or... Um, like crayons or whatever, some kind of manual thing. So I, um, I do a bit of painting. Um, I, I've only tried acrylic, never tried oils. And then, um, awesome. I, I love like clay. I love all kinds of clay polymers or just like pottery. It's all kind of ceramics, yeah. Okay, sounds good. Because we're, we're doing a YouTube Decide for new artists. <laughs> okay, can I see a few of the models you've painted? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, just, uh, are, are any of those actually completed? Uh, the bases aren't done. I okay. Think most of them, but Great. other than that, they should be. All right, let's take a look. Just go ahead and don't move them around a lot, just, but you can keep them in your hand. The camera should focus on them. Okay, let's see if we can. There we go. Uh, okay, great. Go ahead and turn them around. Turn them around. Okay. So what what level is this guy? This is a level four. Okay, great. Now let's see the next one. All right, that's awesome. Okay, uh, so give us an interesting factoid about yourself. I have two llamas in my backyard. You have two llamas? All right, awesome. Yeah. What are their names? Bonnie and Nana. All right, fantastic. You didn't name one Tina? No, I did not name it Tina. Tina? Does Tina come from something? All right, uh, thanks a lot, Zach. Much appreciated. All right, what are you working on? Uh, some smaller fiends. Nice. Forge fiends? That's good. Is this a finished one here? This one, yeah. They're only level two, so pretty basic, but uh, that one is... That's actually uh, pretty good for a two. And this one's gonna be Crimson Slaughter. I forgot what that one's called. It's a uh, black, right. black, black agent. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's All right. cool. Look at these. Fantastic. You're working up the. Is this personal right here? Oh, yeah. I tried airbrushing for my first time today. This is just yeah. some personal stuff. Uh, okay, it's gonna be great. my Deathwing, so. Still got a ways to go, but it was awesome. Mm -hmm. Love, Love airbrushing. All right. A band from the 80s called They Want You Back. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, that no, was, no, that's awesome. That, did, that didn't even work very well. Thanks, Andy. And, and, yeah, and, hold on. And, Could you stroke your mustache thoughtfully, please? Mm. <laughs> okay, you can look at this. Uh, we actually already looked at did that you did? yesterday. Yeah, uh, yeah, you missed it. Dun -dun. Oh, yeah, they're done, done. They're done, done. Oh, jeez. All right, let's take a look at the heroes. They're, they're down so, there. Whoa, those are awesome, dude. Thanks. I love them. Yeah, a little, uh, a little Gretel figure there. 
This guy with a with a whip, apparently. He's like, I whip you. <laughs> the beast master. You're dating a beast master, aren't you, Paul? <laughs> <laughs> a little angel. All right, fantastic. <laughs> All right, smart Alex. Now we have the intellectual side of the room. This is this is where the thinking goes on. Here we have masterpiece assembly. That's right. <laughs> what? Hmm? All right. So uh, you're working on this Oriental Skaven. Yep. Right. And so I just I just want to pull these. Um, these are like unit heroes here. Mm -hmm. Like uh, champions is what it is. Uh, okay, clan great. rats. Right. So and there's uh, there's three of those. Now, did you get these pieces from extras that Mason had from his uh, puppet, thing? Puppet Wars, I believe. Yeah. Okay, great. So we got those from Puppet Wars. Look at this guy. Oh, that's brilliant, dude. That's, that is uh, awesome. Queek, Queek head, head taker. taker. Yep. Made into like an Oriental type thing. Mm -hmm. That is brilliant, and I love it. Oh, that's great. His two sheaths. Yeah. Oh, this is got, fantastic, uh, dude. That guy's name, let's see, that is... With uh, Kami or whatever, Snicketch Deathmaster or whatever. Yep. with two commas. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> I love it. This All is right. uh, Ikit Claw. Just a minor conversion, gave him the yeah. back banner. And here's one of those little what's it things. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. Oh, and uh, you had, so, oh yeah, this was the big one. So this is an exalted vermin lord so from he, Forge World. He is very much a work in progress. I started with the uh, spear. So right. I switched out his staff for that. Try to keep it that uh, same style. Probably right. blue those rings in. Uh, yeah, later. the multiple rings. Once it's you know ready to be uh, painted, but yeah, he's going to be uh, getting uh, samurai cool. armor. Really? So going to have to wow, that dude. piece by piece on him. <laughs> All right, fantastic. Hey, thanks a lot, Roberto. You're welcome. Devin here painting this unicorn gal. Yeah. Yes, I am. So he's got his uh, reference material roach <laughs> yeah. clipped up here. All right. How about you, Jeremy? Huh? <laughs> no, that's no, that's good. We're gonna leave it at. That. So what's so what's going on? I was just reading some white dwarf leaks. Okay, go ahead. Um, and what do you think? I don't know. Uh, sounds just like the magic phase for fantasy. So does it? Yeah. All right. Apparently, if you roll double sixes, you perils. So yeah, that's that's pretty much All right. what the article says. Yeah. Nothing super exciting, but other than that, I've done a few commissars today, and I'm working on the. Okay, fantastic. Oh, oh those look great, man. Those look absolutely great. The uh, tank commander one, I believe, is going to be uh, Trask or Trask or whatever his name is. Pask. Pask. Yeah, but we're going to see a lot of that guy now because he's awesome. So. Yeah, he's. I've come up against him twice, blown him up once with some trouble. And then just, oh, <laughs> just sick. All right, thanks guys. Here's what Mason's doing, just playing games playing all day long, dead, not getting dead. any projects done, just playing Walking one Dead. Thing right here, Avatar, and he's yeah. magnetized. Oh, look at that. Oh, that hair Beautiful thing magnetized hair. is the way to go. Yeah. Woo. I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair. It, back it, it, it weeble wobbles, but it doesn't fall off. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. So, like on the battlefield, you could switch it to always face the same direction because that's the way the wind is blowing. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. that is a level of realism so you know to miniatures battles that pose. only blue table painting can bring. I'm sure you know how the avatar usually pose, right? So he's got the sword like yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, he looks great. So he's actually got it back. He's like, like custom come yeah. on. Yeah, that's what he wanted. Come at me, bro. <laughs> the come at me, bro that's avatar pose. Is, yeah. All right, that's fantastic. Yeah. All right, thanks, Mason. I was expecting a giant right? disappointment, yeah. just, but uh, uh, you really back. delivered. <laughs> that's uh, that's really good. So, and we're going to keep you posted on new people coming in, and uh, it's going to be a good time. So here we've got Ben, the least accomplished of all our painters. What is it supposed to mean? Yeah, just really, you know, he didn't really get much better after after coming on here, you know. Of course not. We we really wish he could paint some higher level stuff, but you know, he's really unambitious. Hasn't really honed his skills. Lucky I wore pants today. <laughs> That's awesome. Everyone wants me to show your pants now. Um, okay, the opposite of all of that is the actual truth. That's the code. 
the, how you'll break that code. So the what you working on? The compliment around here is, it's all right, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's right. That's usually a really good compliment. It's okay, it's passing grade. Yeah, I got some guys here uh, down playing with Is this for D-Mill? Yeah. This looks like, nope, so a different person, okay. So, these are just level three. We miss you, D-Mill, we need you. Yeah, these are right. just level threes right here. So. All right, nothing fantastic. Nothing Love impressive. the color scheme. Um, Absolutely. Thanks. thanks. All right, thanks a lot, Ben. Oh, wait a minute. T tell us one thing that's going on with you. Uh, one thing that's going on with me. Yeah, I want a piece of news. That's kind of silly. That's funny. His, his mind probably flashed through like five real life acts commercials. I'm just gonna go. You know, he was arrested. He went to a secret party. He, you know, was buying ocelots on the underground market. Valhalla was awesome. I had a lot of fun up there. And uh, it was really fun to hang out with like Wargamer Girl and those Infinity Guys. Yeah. I call them those Infinity Guys. Yeah, no, Infinity Guys, that's actually pretty good. Those in Infinity Guys. That's now the name for them. And those Infinity Guys. Yeah, they were uh, they I love were those cool. Infinity Guys, they're great. Yeah. All right. All right, thanks a lot, Ben. Tell me, Jeremy. Uh, the ones yes, you might find interesting of the new rules that are coming out in the White Dwarf this weekend that someone posted links of are um, flying monstrous creatures now only take one grounding test per phase. Nice, that's better. Yeah. And uh, wounds afflicted in a challenge now carry over to the unit if the model in the challenge dies. Okay, good. Yeah, those are the two big ones. I don't remember what the third one was. Uh, the okay, third great. One was. Haha! <laughs> awesome! Yeah! Look at you go! Uh, what is going on here? He's hiding. That's fantastic. Oh, stuff. Yep. Just a few. Just a few projects oh, yeah. coming you get your in. Save on D -weapons D -weapons. Now. Okay. Nice. Okay. Great. Unless they roll a six. All right. Hey. Thanks a lot, guys. Psychic phase that comes after the movement. What just happened there? All right. Uh, thanks a lot, Jeremy. Sorry, I wandered off there. I thought you were done. Okay. Great. Um, so uh, yeah, that's that's how it works. Everybody should know that by now. Okay. So anyway, what you haven't been you haven't been paying attention. Uh, okay. So you could spare yourself the heartache if only. Uh, okay. So this is trade stock. We got a ton of new stuff in. And uh, the deal with trade stock is we take anything, it's easy as pie, and you can just breathe easy knowing your model's gonna find an awesome new home where they're gonna be loved, and you don't gotta hassle. You don't have to deal with any of that. It's like finding a buyer, I want more picks. What about that? Can I have just this? Nope, we just go scoop, and you get a credit, you can go shopping, you can change it into different forms, cash. Uh, online credit with a store like the War Store. I'm looking at Spencer. Spencer's looking at me meaningfully, nodding. Sagely, as, as, as is his want. Do you want me to explain what you No, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. So anyway, or you can get, of course, the, the best deal, which is the Webster credit. Just wanted to show these off. What did I leave out? Service credit. Thank you, service credit. How can Boom! I Trade stock mess. Okay. Um, all right, so we got this in. This is a uh, Dark Angels Force, new models. And all I have to say is this is LOL, labor of love. I mean, someone did specialty base work, all around chaos stuff on there, hazard markings on the chain fists, a custom banner, you got a custom Belial on a display board. So this little mini army would be one, two figures, plus the 15 uh, Deathwing, which are ridiculous awesome. So anyway, and of course, the regular stuff, drop pods over here. We've got more Space Marines. Got this Flames of War stuff still. And uh, I don't think that's going up yet. So anyway, uh, the beauty is our, our baseline is right around half, half price. Um, if you're local, most people don't know this, but if you're local and uh, want to come down and pick some stuff up, uh, let me know. Uh, my baseline there is 60% off. So for a $30 kit, you'd pay $12. Yeah, so come and, come and see what we have. Uh, all right, folks, thanks for tuning in. This is your studio update for the day, and uh, I hope that you have got, uh, got your inspiration.